The Sun is on the verge of a magnetic field reversal, a significant event that occurs roughly every 11 years and signals the midpoint of the solar cycle. This process, which marks the height of solar activity, solar maximum, and the transition toward a period of decreased activity, solar minimum, is a fundamental part of the Sun's magnetic dynamics. The most recent reversal occurred toward the end of 2013, and the next one is expected between 2024 and 2026. At the heart of this phenomenon lies the solar cycle, which is driven by the Sun's magnetic field. This cycle lasts approximately 11 years and is indicated by the rise and fall of sunspot numbers, which are magnetically complex regions on the Sun's surface that are often precursors to solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs. Solar maximum is the peak of this activity, where sunspots and flares are most frequent, while solar minimum is characterized by a calm sun with fewer sunspots and solar events. However, there's more to the sun's magnetic cycle than just the solar cycle. The Hale cycle, a 22-year magnetic cycle, encapsulates two 11-year solar cycles and sees the sun's magnetic field reverse twice before returning to its original polarity. During solar minimum, the sun's magnetic field resembles a dipole with distinct north and south poles. As the solar cycle progresses toward maximum, the field becomes more complex, losing its clear north-south polarity. By the time solar maximum passes, the poles have flipped, completing the reversal. This switch in polarity is triggered by sunspots, which emerge near the sun's equator and move toward the poles as the cycle progresses. Sunspots closer to the poles carry the new magnetic field orientation, while those near the equator retain the old orientation. As the magnetic field from active regions drifts toward the poles, it causes the polarity to flip. Despite this understanding, the precise cause of the polarity flip remains a mystery. Researchers like Phil Scherer of Stanford University admit that a self-consistent mathematical model of the solar cycle is still elusive. Interestingly, the Sun's magnetic reversal happens gradually, unlike Earth's more abrupt magnetic pole migrations. It can take up to two years for the Sun's magnetic poles to fully flip, and the duration of the reversal can vary significantly. For instance, the North Polar Field of Solar Cycle 24, which ended in 2019, took nearly five years to complete its reversal. This gradual process ensures that the effects on Earth are not sudden or catastrophic. While the magnetic field flip itself does not directly cause space weather events like solar flares or CMEs, these phenomena often coincide with the reversal. Solar activity is strongest during solar maximum when the Sun's magnetic field is most complex, leading to a surge in space weather events. These events can have significant effects on Earth, triggering geomagnetic storms that interfere with satellites, communication systems, and power grids. However, one positive side effect of the magnetic reversal is that the wavy structure of the Sun's current sheet during this time can provide additional protection against cosmic rays, shielding Earth from these high-energy particles. In conclusion, the Sun's magnetic field reversal is a regular but complex part of the solar cycle. Although it may sound dramatic, it is a gradual process that does not pose a direct threat to life on Earth. Scientists will continue to monitor the Sun as it approaches this significant event, eager to learn more about the forces driving these reversals and their implications for future solar cycles.